I believe that it is extremely important to celebrate Black History Month because it is a chance for um, Black people who were continually oppressed for decades to finally express our culture. And of Black Canadian heroes and people who have changed the country for the better. Um, which is something that we did not have the chance to do. Because in class, out of all the other months of the year, we're learning a history that a lot of people can't relate to. And also there's a dark side of Canada that we can't ignore. And with Black History Month coming up, that's a time to expose it. And it's a good opportunity for everyone to be educated. What I think about whenever I hear the N word, to be, I I don't I dislike it, and this can this also applies with black people as well. I don't think it's necessary to use it to use it. And what do you want to say that it's just a word? We only give power to words. Two hundred years, centuries and centuries of power was given to that word to oppress a certain group of people. But honestly, I don't really think it's necessary to say the word at all. If you are not black, don't say the n-word because it is not your word. It, you don't have the history behind it and you don't have the fear that is instilled with that word. The n-word makes me feel uncomfortable and somehow angry. And this is because there's so much history that went with, with that word and it's, I think it's very degrading and it just makes me extremely uncomfortable. There was an experience that I did have, and it was actually when I first moved to Bowlingville, and this was in grade seven, and it was a bit different uh, for me and all, but uh, on my first day, too, two students came up to me and asked what my favorite food was. Either was it chicken or watermelon? And I was very confused at first. And this is mostly because I didn't really know about the stereotypes back then. But then now I'm just like, did they really just say that to me? When I was in middle school in grade five, my teacher told me and another guy to go to go in front of the class, and then she started telling people what were the differences. And basically, people just said like, "There's a boy, there's a girl, and that's their differences." But then I feel like she was looking for something like more, and so she was like, "Don't you see something like really?" that is not similar about them or like anything about their color or something and the whole classroom is basically looked at her but then the teacher said can't you see that the other one is lighter than her and she's darker than him and at that time I didn't really I didn't really think about it too much because I didn't know anything about like racism and stuff like that but the more the more I learned about it, the more I realized that the teacher was being kind of racist to me. So, and looking back at it now, it kind of hurts to know that a teacher who like always smiles at you and greets you and tells you you're like kind of kind and stuff, but then at the same time they're insulting you and they're making judgments about your skin color and your differences from them. Living in Bowmanville as a black person is good and it's okay. Um, but something that I don't like about living here is when people ask me really 
unnecessary questions that they know the answer to, but they just want my reaction and wondering if my reaction would be good or bad. But, and that really irritates me because whenever they ask me those type of questions, I think it's because I'm different from them and that's why they're asking me those questions. What I want people to know, being black in Bowmanville, is you may feel like an outcast sometimes, but please do not be pressured to change who you are.